The title of this presentation is Data Seller Package Enables Intuitive Low-Value Data Manipulation. Uh, hello, I'm Toshi. I'm developing a new package called Data Seller, which improves data cleaning experience in R. It's developed on GitHub. Before I'm going to talk about the detail of this package, I'm going to talk about why I started to, de to develop this package. Usually, data analysis workflow is composed of some steps, such as making analysis plan, cleaning data, statistical analysis, and interpreting the results. I think most of you agree with these steps. In L, the boundary between data cleaning and statistical analysis can be vague. Uh, because L is general purpose programming language and has much flexibility, so uh, when, during, when you uh, clean, clean data, uh, you can also do t-test at the same time and even if you are doing regression analysis you can manipulate the data at the same time so it's really flexible uh, however i would like to focus on data cleaning when i do data cleaning then i started to develop a new tool fo focusing on data manipulation which is called data seller what is data seller like Data Seller does row-by-row row data processing using Seller script. The Seller script is designed for this package. Data Seller does not replace R, of course. Data Seller just manipulates data using that using script, co script called Seller script. How to install? Uh, as usual from CLAN, install packages Data Seller uh, this uh, installs uh, to your system. How, however, uh, actually, I'm still submitting this package to CLAN. So when you watch this video and uh, if it's not still available, uh, please visit this website. I'm hosting this website. Um, packages are available on the website. How to use? That seller has sale function. Uh, we can pass uh, data frame and Sarah script to, to this uh, function. DF uh, can accept data compatible with data frame. Code accepts uh, Sarah script in our spring. So passing this uh, data frame and Sarah script and this function returns data frame processed. So this is an image passing data frame, passing Sarah script, data Sarah calculate each row for each row and output the result data frame. Then let's try data set. Uh, in this example, I'm going to use Iris data set and uh, uh, only these two columns, petal dot length and sepal dot length uh, will be used. And I'm, co co I'm going to call this uh, Iris based uh, data from Iris X. So let's try to divide this column by this column. How can do it? Do it. How can I? How can I do it? Uh, yes, passing Iris uh, X dataset and passing uh, Sarah script. Um, maybe you can imagine what this uh, Sarah script does. Uh, petal dot length divided by sepal dot length is assigned to petal sepal ratio, which actually results in the new column, petal sepal ratio. So uh, this is a variable. This is a code variable, but variable names corresponds to uh, column name and new column name. When, you, when we use a variable uh, with new column name, uh, the new column is created. So this example shows uh, basic concepts of data set. Variable names correspond to data set column names. Uh, this reduces the uh, amount of typing, uh, like uh, non-standard evaluation in R. And this idea is familiar to statisticians because they call uh, column names as variables. And second, by Sarah script, data seller just instructs how each row or each record is processed. So we can just focus on how each row is processed and the data set applies it to each row. 
I'm going to talk more about that set of functionality. Uh, from here, I'm using another uh, dataset called MTCASX, and it's based on MTCAS dataset and extracting only one column of HP. So this uh, MT MTCASX has only one column, and MTCAS uh, originally has row names, so MTCASX also has whole keeps row names. So this these are functionality I'm going to talk. Uh, variable, variable assignment, types, operators, built-in functions, if there's control flow, missing values, regular expressions. I'm going to talk about these things. First, variable and variable assignment. As shown in previous slides, each variable corresponds to column name. So, uh, HP, for example, HP variable corresponds to HP column. So, as, and assigning to a new column name. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so uh, variable name corresponds to column name. So I will use variable and column name uh, interchangeably. Assigning to a new column name. So assigning to h dot h dot power. This does not originally exist on MTCAS X dataset. So assigning to a new column name creates a new column. So in this case, h dot power is new column name and this column is new column is created and uh, this line does uh, assigning uh, hp times 2 as assigning hp assigning the var value of hp times 2 to hp so assigning to a new existing column name updates a column so in this case hp is updated with uh, the original values of hp times 2 so let's look at the result Yes, uh, HP power holds the original H HP values and HP is updated with HP times 2. Next, cell types. In cell script, there are only three types, integer, double, string, and compatible types are converted between R and cell as follows. So, uh, if the column of data, fl data frame is integer vector, uh, it's dealt as int from Sailor, and if the column of the vector is uh, double on data frame, it's dealt as double from Sailor, and if the column of, uh, if the column vector of data frame is a character vector, it's dealt as string. When boolean vector is dealt as zero or one, if factor is dealt as string. So yeah, you can see you can use uh, integer, double, and string uh, in Sarah script. Yeah, you can see this result. Uh, about operators, assignment operator and arithmetic operators can be used. Uh, assignment operator in addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, division, power can be used. And also comparison operators, uh, equal to, larger than, larger than y equal to, less than, less than y equal to, and also regular expression operator can be used. So you can see HP times 2, and uh, this variable is halved, and H, this is power, and this is a squared root. You can you can see yeah these results, these the result of these operators. Uh, there are also built-in functions. Uh, strings are usually manipulated using built-in functions, and uh, these functions start with str underscore. And also there there are other kind of uh, functions. I'm not showing here. You can refer to uh, documents. So in this example, uh, sub this function str underscore subset uh, subset uh, string. Uh, so uh, I I didn't talk about this variable underscore row name underscore, but this uh, this is special uh, variable and this represents the column name. And so this function, what this what this function does is subtract index from index one to index three uh, of 
uh, this variable, this string. So in this case, uh, extracting index one to index three. So first three letters extracting first three letters of row name, and this is as assigned to this first three column. And num to str converts uh, number to string. And uh, in this table, uh, left assigned, uh, left aligned uh, means it's string. So this column is string. It's converted successfully. Uh, you can also use if else control flow uh, as usual. Yeah, if condition statements, else if condition statements, else statements. Uh, yeah, this can be used. This structure is, can be used. And else clauses are optional. So uh, in this example, uh, if HP is larger than 145, power is assigned high. And if uh, HP is between 0 to 145, power is assigned low. So uh, th this value is 175 is larger than 145. Uh, so power column has high. And as in other cases, uh, power column has low. You can also use missing values. That represents numeric missing values. And empty strings uh, represent string missing values. Uh, so yeah, that uh, means uh, missing value in Sailor. So it can, when, when you com compare with uh, any noun in R, it should return true. And uh, yes, when you compare uh, empty string with uh, NA in character vector of R, it should return true. So this is example. Uh, I'm creating a new data frame uh, containing missing value. And if X equals to uh, that uh, numeric missing value, X underscore NA is assigned one, and else X underscore NA is assigned zero. So in this example, uh, when X has NA, the x underscore na has one, and in other cases, uh, this column has zero, so it's working. And uh, lastly, regular expression, and uh, this is really powerful uh, feature. Uh, regular expression can be written like this: re slash pattern and slash, and this is a regular expression literal in Sailor script. And also equal tilde is regular exp expression matching operator, which is evaluated to, to be boolean and should be used for if else con condition. So in this case, uh, I'm creating a new uh, regular ex expression pattern and it's assigned to Germany variable and uh, Germany uh, variable representing, uh, uh, representing this regular expression is matched against row name. And if it's true, so it's matched, uh, country column has Germany, and uh, also this function is executed. Uh, what is this function? Uh, this function is back reference uh, function. With a pattern inclu include groupings like this parentheses uh, part, this is called grouping uh, in regular expression. And the RxP underscore matched uh, function can extract the matched strings. So uh, in this case, uh, when the row name, uh, row name has Mercedes, uh, milk is matched and milk part is extracted from string. So like this. So. Yes, if the row name has milk, uh, the milk part is uh, extracted. If it's Porsche, it, Porsche part is extracted. You can see, you can also see this is working. Uh, I'm also talk about a little about a little bit about the Serial in internal. Uh, serial script is uh, passed to virtual machine code. Data frame is extracted. Uh, each row, and each row is uh, processed uh, like this on virtual machine using virtual machine code, and the result is returned. And 
uh, these purple parts, this is dead cell uh, package itself, and this uh, green and orange parts, uh, this is implemented in Deep Cell C, C or C++ uh, library, which is uh, created or, uh, especially for this package. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this series is still in development, so feedbacks are welcome. Uh, this is really difficult time, so I hope everyone is safe and see you in the future.